Morning. Mid March. Spring tide flooding up from the west and a bright sun in the south. And we are standing right on the Bill of Portland, or Portland Bill as sailors call it. This, in case you don't know, is a steep peninsula that runs two or three miles straight out into the English Channel from a relatively featureless shore. The result of this is that the tide, which is strong anyway in the channel, is pushed up by it out to sea. So the main run of the tide in the channel is running straight at the moment eastwards up towards Dover. But along the cliff down there, it's being forced to the southwards by this peninsula. It comes ripping up round the corner, meets the main body of the tide, and there's another complication because there's a back eddy runs down the other side and that comes up and the whole shooting match meets about half a mile out there. The bottom is uneven and you get one of the worst tide rips in the known world. Great big ships have been lost out there in storms of wind and nobody ever found much of what was left. It's, it's a very, very, very dangerous place. But if you handle it right, it's not too bad actually. And on a day like today, when it's only blowing fairly hard, there's a channel running inside the race, very close inshore. If I look down to the westward, the sea is really comparatively calm. I don't know if you can see it on there, but I can see the tide coming roaring up from the west. There's a fishing boy out there, which you certainly won't be able to see, but you'll have to take it from me. It's towing under with the sheer strength of the tide. Tide runs around here fairly smoothly and when it meets the eddy we get this great surge developing and offshore out there there are big steep rollers with nothing really to drive them except the tide. They look almost like whales coming up to the surface and going down again. You just don't want to be there. Ten minutes ago a fishing boat came in here. He was so close I could have lobbed a biscuit onto his deck because it's fairly steep too and that's really the safe way to do it. He knew what to do and I've done it many times myself. It's pretty hairy, but generally speaking it's safe. If you need to run the race of Portland, the way to do it is sit in Weymouth, about four or five miles over there, and wait until slack water, or until it's going to be slack water here in about an hour. You come out of Weymouth and you arrive here when the tide is full and just about to start pouring away to the westward. The race doesn't really know what's happening because there isn't a great deal of tide running at that time and you can come round here quite safely and then you get a wonderful six hours of push down to the westward. If you're coming from the, if you're coming from the west going east it's a bit trickier because there aren't any harbours really um, worthy of the name for 20 miles down that way and um, so you can't time your arrival very well in a sailing boat. You've just got to do the best you can. Motorboat's easy, but again, you need to be here round about the turn of the tide, ideally when it's just starting to go your way. So that's the big secret. But Portland is one of these remarkable places where you see the wonders of the Lord. And uh, I've seen enough of it now. I'm off for some lunch. See you later. had my lunch. <laughs> Very nice it was too. Very nice pork pie. And now I'm just a little bit further west from where I was speaking just now and I'm surrounded by this great big pile of rock and really Portland is a huge lump of remarkable stone which has been quarried for centuries and it's built half the buildings along the English Channel. My house when I lived on the Isle of Wight was built of Portland stone. It was built in 1621 and it had stood all those years and some of it was eaten away by the weather on the front, but still the stone stood there. You can always tell the Portland stone, it's just a lovely colour. This one up here is full of fossils actually, I'm sitting on a trilobite here by the look of it, but uh, he was here a long time before I was. What fascinates me about this place and the stone is that it was quarried, as I say, centuries and centuries ago, it's just been going on forever, and they used to bring in barges and tie them up alongside the cliff, lower 
the stone in and the place is wide open. There's always a surge and a sea running of some sort because it's such a wild spot. And they'd load the stone into these barges and sometimes they would be lifted up and smashed against the rock and they would just go down so fast with the stone in them that not much was ever found. But uh, it was a hairy old business and they used to carry it up to London on these barges and build all the wonderful buildings there. So Portland is quite a place really, quite a place in our history and a real place for seafaring men.